Hi guys, today on Divas Can Cook we are making baked sour cream, cheddar and chive, mashed potatoes, one of my favorite side dishes ever, great for the holidays and it is easy to make, so let's go. All right, we're gonna start by peeling up our potatoes. I have already scrubbed them really good. They're nice and clean. We're gonna peel them up. I'm using rusted potatoes because rusted potatoes make the best mashed potatoes ever. Next, we're gonna hand slice our potatoes lengthwise. Don't do them little cubes, honey. Mm -mm. Do nice, even thickness lengthwise, okay? Perfect. Place them into your pot here. I'm using a three-quart pot. Go ahead and throw them bad boys in there. Next, we're gonna add in some chicken broth. Y'all knew it was coming. You knew it was coming. My chicken broth, yes. You can also use flavored water. Make sure you get it really seasoned up, though, if you don't wanna use chicken broth, okay? Go ahead and get those bad boys submerged under that broth. I threw in some um, garlic just to give it a little flavor. Bring it to a boil, then go ahead and cover it up, reduce the heat to medium, and cook them bad boys for about 20 to 30 minutes until they're nice and soft. And then when you put your fork into it, it should kind of break apart. Some people say that it's overcooked, but no, honey. Not for no mashed potatoes that is perfectly cooked. Wonderful. Go ahead and drain off that excess chicken broth. We don't need it anymore. Our potatoes are so seasoned up. Go ahead and return this to the eye on low, though. We're going to let this excess moisture kind of steam out. We don't need that in our potatoes. Mm -mm. And once the steam has slowed down a bit, go ahead and add in that butter. It's like butter, baby. Lots and lots of butter. Yes, this is mashed potatoes. So go ahead and just sprinkle it on there and then just let it melt. Let it melt where it falls. Just let it soak down to those potatoes. It's going to be so doggone good. And then once that butter has almost melted, get your little potato masher. And you're going to go one time around this pot, okay? Each potato gets mashed mashed only one so make it count okay don't be going back and trying to remash it Uh, uh. one time you get one shot jack this is going to make it nice and fluffy because the more you fool with these potatoes they're going to get gluey and oh we don't want those kind okay all right then we're going to add in our sour cream oh yes god this is oh okay sour cream and then we're going to add in a little bit of half and half and y'all know i wanted to use heavy cream right i so wanted to use heavy cream but i said no i'm not gonna do it go ahead and gently very gently stir that up okay light hand okay then we're gonna sprinkle in some cheddar cheese you can use mild or sharp i'm using mild don't really matter go ahead and stir that cheese in very gently just always think gentle gentle then we're gonna add in some chives and gently stir that in okay Perfect, great texture, I love it. All right, now what we're gonna do, you're gonna give it a taste. You gotta taste it, taste it. And then you can add in your pepper, you need to add in some more, you can add some garlic or whatever. I just added in pepper because we use that chicken broth and yes, that chicken broth was nice and salty, so it is perfectly seasoned. All right, now that I have perfectly seasoned, I'm gonna take my potato masher and go around the pot one more time. I do not like big chunks of potatoes in my mashed potatoes. I like the little teeny tiny bits that they kind of melt in your mouth. Yes, that's the kind that I like. So this texture is perfect for me. It's nice and soft and fluffy. I'm gonna go ahead and spray my um, casserole dish with some nonstick cooking spray. Then I'm gonna place half of the potato mixture into the pan. Gonna go ahead and just spread it on out into a nice even layer and then I'm gonna sprinkle it with some cheese. I'm using cheddar cheese here again, but you can use like smoked cheeses. My grandmother puts like bacon and onions in the middle of this layer right here. Yeah, but yeah. Okay, then pour on that last layer of potatoes and kind of spread it out. This goes great with, my grandmother only made these on Easter and she would serve it with turkey ham because we didn't eat ham growing up, so she made turkey ham and it was like perfect. It was a perfect side dish for like turkey ham and stuff, so. Yeah, go ahead and spread this out, and then we're gonna sprinkle it with some more cheese, of course, that nice top layer of cheese. And you can also add on some fresh chives if you want to. I never do that, though. Okay, so when you have a nice, even layer of cheese, like this right here, we're gonna go ahead and cover it up with some fall paper. You can cover it up loosely, because I don't like when the fall paper touches the cheese. Is that weird? I know, I'm kinda weird. Are we gonna bake it at 350 for about 20 to 30 minutes, and then when it come out, Go ahead and serve it immediately. You want it to be nice and hot like this right here. It's just so cheesy. It's cheesy and hot and just pure comfort food for the soul. Now this is soul food because it really does comfort the soul. It's so wonderful. Go ahead and plop some down on a plate. And you guys, watch this, watch this. Just watch it. Look at that. Oh, yes. What? You see how soft and silky and smooth. It's just like, oh my gosh. I could eat this stuff, you guys, nonstop. But yeah, only on holidays for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Don't forget you can find it on my blog at divasandcook.com. Thank you guys so much for watching. Later.